Greetings once again, wizards. Dues, dues, then back with another episode of Fairy Tale The Hundred Years Quest, where previously we got to rejoin the Wizard Guild of Fairy Tale as they were inducting new members. Unfortunately, Loxus scares two of them away, but the one that remains, named Toka, is here for a very special reason to find her one true love. Natsu. But where is Natsu? Why, he's on the 100 years quest with his team, of course. As Natsu and the gang arrive in the country of Giltina, oh, continent of Giltina, they head to the ancient and very first wizard guild of Magia Dragon. And who should they find inside? None other than the Law Dragon, Elf Seria, who greets them as the 99th Heroes of the Hundred Years Quest. And as everyone is shocked to see a dragon inside of Mage's Guild, Natsu calls him out for what he is, a human. Yes, in truth, much like Acnologia, Elf Seria learned Dragon Slayer magic in order to defeat the five dragon gods. A hundred years ago, he tried to take on this task, but was unable to, and so he made it into a quest, but each of the dragon gods is just as powerful as Acnologia himself, but Natsu is the one who defeated Acnologia, with a little help from his friends, and so with a little help from his friends his time as well, he'll take down the dragon gods and complete the hundred years quest, with Elf and Sarah feeling that this might be it because of Natsu's credentials, if Natsu can't do it, no one will. So after f signing some waivers, just in the off chance they end up, you know, dying, they take on the job and help to head to the town of Ermina, which has a religion based upon the water dragon god Merkyphobia, or Merkphobia. As they arrive in town, who should be watching their arrival? None other than a man that a woman refers to as the water god. Meanwhile, back at Fairy Tale, they're lo Gajil, I keep doing that. Gajil has taken notice of Toka when she mentions in a casual conversation people who have been interested in Grey, counting Briar of Avatar amongst them. Gajil, having been one of the people to arrest Briar when he worked with the council, knows that her name should not have been public knowledge, and is curious how it's possible that Toka could have known such a thing. And so with the help of Panther Lily, Lavi, and Juvia, who has a bit of a confrontation with Toka, they're out to find out just what this new member is really all about. Mysteries abound. Do our heroes have what it takes to survive their experiences? Join me as I find out, won't you? Ermina. Oh, kinda forgot about this introduction. <laughs> fish? Fish! Calm down. Why is there a fish here? There's no clerk at the reception desk. Is this what you call a welcome drink? No fair, Natsu, I want one too. Are you gonna drink it? No way. <laughs> a human? I would not be shocked if Happy still tried to eat him. Hello there. Welcome to Hotel Journey. A fish turned into a human? The Sea of Dragons. I could only say turned into a fish while I was taking a nap. Yeah, there's a reason behind that. I'm sure you've done that before. I've never done that. Are you a human or a fish? That's an important question. <laughs> it decides whether or not Happy will consume you. I guess I'm more of a fish. You are? No way. I almost forgot that I have a date. Everyone, please feel free to grab any room you like. That's so careless. Hey, hey, I'm okay, Kevin Shark. Shark? Oops, I must inform you of one thing. If you're planning to stay in this town, then please, please make sure you to drink the welcome drink in your room. Or else humans can't survive. No way. Impossible. <laughs> he really should have explained that better. See you, Sharkat! Who was that person? A fish? <laughs> Says drink me. Why is it? I just have a skull on it. Is it poison? That would be the most brazen poison imaginable. Yep. Yep. What the heck? What's going on? Is everyone else? Crap. I can't. Or can you? No. I can breathe and talk. Fish. What is that music? Yo, you're finally up, Gray. Natsu. Check it out. We're underwater. We're under the sea. Under the sea. Down where it's wetter, down with it's better, take it from me. And of course, bikinis. Even though we're underwater, we can breathe. It's so pretty. Fish, fish. Race, I won't lose Sharkette. They're enjoying this a lot. I'm glad to see that you took the potion like I asked. That was the potion to help non-fish acclimate to the underwater environment. It's so weird how we just jump right into this. I forgot to introduce myself. 
My name is Pashima, manager of the Hotel Journey. What's going on in this town? Nothing's going on. It's just time for high tide. The whole town is underwater. Originally, this was a town for fish. So this is how it actually looks. And why do you, you look like people during the day? Because you'd be shocked if we looked like fish. We were a fish when I first saw you. I think I'm getting better at swimming. Another effect of the potion. That's why I have a chance of racing against Sharkette. By the way, that is not Sharkette. I remember reading a fairy tale like this. An undersea story? Yes. The young man helps the turtle that is being bullied. As a thank you, the turtle takes it to the world under the sea. And what happened after that? And then... And then... Lucy? They turned him into a jellyfish. Jellyfish? Hey. We came to this town looking for a clue to find the water dragon god. You know of any info- No way! You will not lay a finger on the great water god. Yep. Yep. Huh? <laughs> turned hostile real fast. Happy! What's wrong, Sharkette? You're not Sharkette. I'm Sharkina! <laughs> These friggin' names. I know it's like Samiko or something like that, but translated, that's essentially what it becomes. What's going on? The fish are attacking us. Are we turning into jellyfish? And of course, what do you do that for? You wanna go, huh? Perhaps you don't. Leave them alone. We'll retreat for now. No way, don't let them get away like the other heroes from the other day. They're enemies who are after the great water god. Humans from the other day. This way. Darn it, there's so many of them. I'm being chased by fish. <laughs> Usually that would be Happy's dream, but not in this situation. Magnolia. Oh my god, does Asuka have a bottle Bottle of alcohol? Some of the characters are back in some of their original outfits. Weird. I use water type magic. Water type? So same as Juvia. <laughs> Is she copying Juvia here too? Oh my, the same as the one who stalks that slovenly man? No thank you. Did she just insult Grey? <laughs> Calm down, Juvia. Don't ruffle any feathers until we have something on her. Oh, oh, yeah. A tail? Hmm? What about a tail? See, it'd be one thing if only one of them saw it, but the fact that both of them saw it. Is that how you greet someone here? Since we're fairy tale and all? No, we don't. That's kind of cute though. A tail. Like this. She even knows she saw something like a tail. Right. Yes, I saw it too. Maybe you imagined it. Man, the plot thickens. <laughs> the father of your child. Oh, Wizard Guild Sabretooth. I didn't remember us checking in on them this early on. Huh. Sabretooth Yukino Agria. Sabretooth Serrano, Agria, yeah, no longer goes by Angel. My little sister is the cutest in the world, as usual. I actually forgot because they got pardoned and they were able to actually join whatever guild they wanted. They no longer had to be a part of Crime Sorcier. You're beautiful too, as always. I'm glad to see you're fitting in so well, Serrano. Of course, this is the best guild ever. And she is wearing little next to nothing. But all my dear sister shines brightly here. Please stop, my dear sister. Jalal, I didn't know you're here. It's been a while. Sabretooth, Rogue Cheney. Sabretooth, Sting, Euclid? I love Sting's outfit because it's like accentuating its tits. Also, does Rogue ever actually use that sword? I don't remember. Huh, did you come to check on Serana? Everything's fine. She's loud, but it hasn't caused any problems. I'm not loud. Sabretooth, Rosh. Sabretooth, Lecter. Fro thinks so too. Jalal Fernandez. I stopped by since I was in the neighborhood. Right. Okay. Yeah, Jalal's story. I was at the main event. She is loud indeed. So what business do you have in this town? I was looking for someone. I could help. Fro too. Thank you. If you see this person, please let me know. Who is she? I can't tell you yet. It's a bit complicated. I just need to know her location. Minerva. Really? You're showing an interest in a woman other than Urza? No, that's not. This has nothing to do with this. She's kind of cute. What's her name? She calls herself Toka. She calls herself Toka. I'm not sure if that's her real name, though. Toka. I see. Listen, if you see her, do not engage. No matter what. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Don't engage. Where the heck are we? I don't actually remember how long that potion they drank lasts. Beats me. We ran without looking. I never expected to be chased by fish. Aw, oh, Carla's back in her cat form. Although, <laughs> her and her cat form in the bathing suit is actually cuter than her human form. Then again, I've never really been into the type that's attracted by people like Wendy and Carla in her human form, you know? Never expected me to chase the fish. They use a curse from the, all the fish you've eaten. The moment we mentioned Water God, their attitude changed. 
it was true that they worshiped that god but didn't he say that they used to does that mean they still do what is it i want my scarf back what am i supposed to do my swimsuit is gone why don't you change into the, the celestial clothes you're right hey why are you pulling it just because it's to get the shippers riled up there's another thing that bothers me like the other humans from the other day they're enemies who are after the great water god they're just fighting over the scarf. It seems they were human customers before us. I wonder where they've gone. Maybe they've been eaten by the fish. That's scaring us. Well, what should we do? Just grab them up and grill them. No. Oh, the Aquarius clothes. Or, wait, is that the Aquarius? Yep, I got it right. It's the Aquarius dress. I had to double check. I didn't want to be wrong on that one. I just said it instinctively. They're simply observing their religion. They don't look like bad people either. Even the guy who took your swimsuit? That's a bad guy, so I'll scribble perv on his face next time I see him. True, they didn't seem that evil. This makes me think of, um, guilt. No. The, the island that they went to with all the people who were transforming into demons and stuff, I think they've learned from that experience. Otherwise, they wouldn't have given us the potion that lets us breathe underwater. That too. But our mission is to defeat the water god dragon. Even if the people here resent us, that's our job. About that. Remember what Elseria said. You must seal them away. That is important. Seal them. He meant to defeat them, right? Actually, I think to seal can be interpreted in many ways. It can, of course, mean to defeat or diminish their power. Or literally seal them in somewhere. What are you getting at? I'm saying, he didn't define what it means to seal them. Let's say the word of God was worshipped as a raging God. If he could manage to persuade and calm them down, that could mean seal them, right? So there's a peaceful solution. Yep, it's like a JRPG. It's just a possibility. I'll actually like seeing Lucy, you know, show that she's pretty smart, all things considered. Lucy so often ends up the butt of jokes in so many of these this series. It's easy to forget how smart she actually is. Stop looking so obviously disappointed. You must know more than anyone that not all dragons are evil. Exactly. Our fight is not about defeating, it's about surviving. Okay, fine. I won't start anything until we know more about who these dragons are. But, if they hurt my friends even a scratch, I'll slay them. No excuse. Exactly. That's the name of the game. I mean, we've seen the water dragon god. Didn't seem like a bad guy, did he? I'm just saying. Then again, first impressions can always be deceptive. Well then, time to get some intel. Is a water god dragon friend or foe? What is the deal with this town? And what happened to the humans who were here before us? I guess I'll have to check back, go back and clear up the misunderstanding. I hope they'll hear us out. I don't want to do that. Hold on. I have a good idea. Check it. You got this all wrong. There were humans who were after the great water god. I don't care. It was a bad idea to do business with humans to begin with. But there are good humans too. You like them that much and date them instead. Oof. Harsh. No way, shark it. He just doesn't seem like a bad guy. Just like we don't look like fish at all. <laughs> they kingdom hearts it up. These are actually adorable designs. Huh? It's only fish. <laughs> <laughs> These looks are so adorable. Gemini's powers are impressive. They'll never find us out like this. We'll see about that. Fish turned into humans. I was chased by a fish. And finally I turned into a fish. Gemini are good at transformation magic. Only duplication though. But apparently transformation into small animals like this is not too difficult. If you're gonna do it, do it perfectly. This is like a human face fish. I agree. Why am I the only jellyfish? I'm sorry, the magical energy ran out. I mean, oh well, no, it's us. Let's put up and gather information. Do you seriously think no one will find out? Information, huh? You there, the manager. Crap, do you find the humans that escape? He doesn't know it's me. Um, not sure. Go find them now. Hurry. You were on a freaking date. By the way, what happened to the other humans from the other day? Do you even have to ask? What's the matter, Natsu? I smell humans. What's up? Wait up. A cage? Do you forget that we caught one? This is gonna be a sacrifice to the great water god. A woman? Who is she? A crust on her shoulder? Is she from a guild somewhere? You're humans, huh? Yeah. She talked. I'm a cat, though. It's almost time. You better step away. What is this noise? Where is it coming from? I sense something. Yeah. What the heck is that? Could it be the water draw dragon? Your sacrifice is right here. <laughs> mm, titties. I've been waiting for you, water god dragon. Yeah. She's a cut above the rest. 
Holy crap. You know what you mean, holy carp? Oh boy. What's going on? The great water god has descended. She said she's been waiting for the water god dragon. Was she cast her on purpose to see the water god dragon? I mean, that woman. Just look at her face. Yep. You're one of the honored five dragon gods. This is the best you got. And uh, I'll slay you. Dragon slayer secret art. Yeah, yeah. Play dragon sword dance. Any way for anyone for a fish fillet? Is she a dragon slayer? Ah, uh, yes. He slayed the water god dragon so easily. I can't believe it. Oh, no, 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 no. Sexy. Oh, no, 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 no. She ate it. This wasn't the water god dragon. Of course not. I've been deceived. What? How upsetting. I'm feeling irritated. Would you care to entertain me? Ooh, that background track. Lucy, turn us back. Oh, oh, force field. Unscathed that they're taking my blade. I knew we smelled the same. Stop sniffing each other. What on earth are you? I'm a dragon slayer. They have the same on this continent. I hear those who receive such power directly from a dragon are called the first generation. Yep, the second generation. The second generation are those with Lacrima embedded in them. Yep, that would be, um, Laxis and Cobra. The third generation are those with Lacrima and Dragon granted powers, which are Rogue and Sting, who we just saw. I've heard there's a country where they created magical weapons out of nothing using magic alone, and that's called the fourth generation, which was featured in the movie, which I'm like, oh, Oh, you're referencing the movie! I wasn't ready for that! That would make us the fifth generation. Mm, check it out that ass. The fifth generation of dragon slayers who gain powers by devouring dragons. We're the dragon eaters. Dragon eaters, yep. I thought eating five dragon gods would grant me more power. But the snake earlier wasn't the water dragon god, it seems. You get stronger by eating dragons. And I'm not alone. Nope. The wizard guild exclusively for the dragon eaters. Diablos. Wizard Guild Diablos, the Blade Dragon, Kyrie. I'm known as Kyrie, the Blade Dragon, Kyria. Oh, I've been saying that wrong. Kyria, not Kyrie. Kyria. So who are you? Are you after the Water Dragon God like me? Can't say. Oh, careful. That's it. I do not like ambiguous answers. Fire Dragons. Oh, yeah, you're underwater, buddy. You can't use fire magic underwater. Fire Dragon, huh? Sounds delicious. Underwater, if only Aquarius were here. But this Aquarius form has a little bit of her power. Aquametria. Yep, she can cut water in half. There's nothing I cannot cut. That's the power of the blade dragon. And of course, there goes her clothes. See, there's weird moments where Natsu takes an interest in Lucy. The star dress was shredded like nothing. What the hell do you think you're doing? This is the second time in this town. You look delicious in an entirely different way. Everyone is down bad for Lucy. Don't blame them, but still. Very good form. Swimsuit version. See, that's a fetish into of itself. Uh, not this too. Nope. Ah, nice. Or should I say, ice. What's the deal with her? Gray. What? No way. And the manager? The prisoner and the humans we were looking for. Where the hell have you been hi all been hiding? Even, I've been right in front of you all this time. And what have you done? The messenger from the great water god. Messenger? The messenger to bring the sacrifice to the great water god. It's been killed. This is bad. The great water god will be enraged. Is that so? Will the angry water dragon god show himself? If so, slaying the snake wasn't so pointless. I love that she's saying that while frozen. Like, man, she has great ventrilica skills. I didn't even see her mouth move. Titties! She broke through my ice. Watch out, she's strong. <laughs> Oh, really? Of course. He cut through my swimsuit. No, I did no such thing. <laughs> it was his only article of clothing. Of course that got lost. You seem like an entertaining bunch. Yeah, you should come hang out with us. Why don't I get a bit more serious? Oh, oh, there's a... Why didn't I go back to normal? <laughs> when you can't catch a break, I forgot about this. What do you think you're doing to my friends? A sword? Excellent. Let us cross blades. He has the same mindset as Zora from One Piece. You have a sword. Ooh, fight, fight, fight. Oh, there he is. Ahead, Mad Mole. Kyria, you were late to return, so I was concerned, Cha. Is he on her side? I mean, he stopped Earth's sword with his head. There's nothing he cannot block. The Dragon Eater clad in the strongest armor. Mad Mole, the Armor Dragon. Wizard Gear, Guild Diablos, the Armored Dragon, Mad Mole. A pleasure, Cha. Honestly, your health is not needed here. Gullion has asked that you return, Cha. Not when there's a chance the Water Dragon God may show up here. And this bunch, they may be my first decent meal in a while. Who are these people? Beats me. They seem to be after the Water Dragon. What is it this time? Yeah, what indeed. 
The pardon the seas like well an advanced form of Moses. The water. The sea is parting. What's going on? Could this be coming down like Jesus? He came down in a bubble dog. The great water god dragon. Oh no, he's hot. Is being loud in my sea. A human? Not quite Natsu. Yeah, see, now the action's kinda ramping up. That's why I wasn't so worried about last episode and how it was mostly just set up because I know we get into a lot of action between Diablos and the water dragon god himself and then the inquiry of who is Toka and why is Jalal looking for her? Why is she dangerous? Why has she really come? The fairy tale. I, I really do love a lot of the elements there, but Kyrie's a great character. She's of those we meet. It's a while before other f more fun characters come in, but of Diablo, she's probably one of my favorite out of the guild, cause she's just out of her goddamn mind. She's just itching for a fight, and she has some great confrontations too. True, Kyrie, uh, Kyrie is probably part of some of my favorite fights of the Hundred Years Quest. A very memorable character. Man Mole and then Scullion, who you'll see later, they're all right. I don't hate them. Well, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I've been Deuce This Then, and I hope to see you later. So then, take care. Bye bye. <laughs>